I mean, considering these are things that you can actually hit and kill pretty easily, probably. Uh, I think I can actually hit quite a few things right now. I'll be back in just a minute or two. Just need to use the restroom. Okay. Alright. Now, I only have the one battle map. So I'm going to have to figure out how to make this all come together into a two-hour session. With what I got plus the fight. Which means that I'm hoping things go as planned and that curveballs are not thrown at me. So, Zahn, are you actually in here? No. That was a sound, not a voice. And I was uh, going, hello. I understood it. <laughs> that makes sense. By God the glorious dear. graces of my sister, I've been grand reprieve from packing. Okay, I understood that. Some of it. Good, so I'll be here for the slaughter. Yes. May so like he's gonna move. miss maybe one session then. He, the the big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's gonna miss the one where you actually get to finally fight the Pope. And maybe Zargon that day. Maybe. I mean, hopefully Zargon that day. I kind of want the two fights to kind of go back to back. I was kind of hoping the Pope would be its own big event. and then. Watch. I mean, it is. It is its own big event. But like, I, have I, 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 ha I have how the Pope goes into you guys having to fight Zargon all planned out in my head already. And I kind of want the two to be at least partially in the same session. Enough that I can't lose to the reveals. Wait, Flux, were you going to do Circle of Death? No. Okay, sure. I don't even know what that spell is. <laughs> Give me a second. What, what is it? <laughs> now, now you've just given him ideas. <laughs> oh, no, that's kind of crap. No, screw that. I'm also not a sorcerer or a wizard. Already, I can already tell the running joke of this series is going to be the ship gets half destroyed every mission. Oh, okay. so so we're going with season one Red Dwarf Logic of Red Dwarf Logic season three and we can't survive on the little star bug we're all gonna die of hypothermia season six it's all revolved around them living inside little star bug <laughs> which, which, <laughs> gets, which gets new rooms every single episode <laughs> I, I love if you, you, you need to get the DVDs Flux because the, the, the creator commentary for that season is amazing because it's the backpedaling so hard on everything it's like yeah we realize that the ship is too big so now we're using Starbug and every season we started to add rooms just to see if the producers would notice uh, like, they, were, they were fully self aware that it was somehow getting bigger <laughs> <laughs> they were just they were just mostly seeing if anyone on the production team would question it. I mean like this one episode where they just crash up crash land in Starbug and it's like one one room they're all gonna die of starvation. And then it cuts to like two seasons later. It's got like a lodger room. It's got it's got it's got, yeah, a, it's got like two separate bunk rooms. Yeah. Well, it's got maybe, like separating floors. Well, maybe they upgraded the ship after they they're almost died, died because they were stuck on it. They're not that smart. No, they're not. <laughs> they aren't that smart. And that they, smart. they go on to say that Star Starbug was all like I think they tried to say Starbug was always that big. They just didn't know that there was more to Starbug or something stupid. There's not a single one of them that's that smart. 
<laughs> so Futurama logic where they're fucking, hey, you can, you, here, there's a closet. And then he's like, I can live in this closet. Kind of. It was a good show, at least. Wasn't, wasn't the start of season I, I love the, uh, the quote unquote season 10, which was just a three part movie that was like a massive Blade Runner reference because they ended up back in the modern time and they get they go on a quest to meet the creator of Red Dwarf and he's living in the giant fucking pyramid from Blade, from, uh, Blade Runner. <laughs> Which for some reason it? just exists in the middle of downtown London. Wasn't the Starbucks season also the one where they went into virtual reality? So for some reason this <laughs> thing that had no amenities before now is a virtu- it's like a hollow tech. Um, no, because remember the virtual reality thing was basically a headset. It it was Cybertux style virtual reality where you, where you jacked into it. Oh yeah, because there was that whole episode where they they kept they kept overusing the crotch attachment. <laughs> oh, that was a plot point in the episode. Remember? Because the, the cat was using it too much. <laughs> the four horsemen in Wild West times. Oh yeah, the apocalypse virus. It's about our lives, everything was different. And the cat just becomes Dwayne Dibley. No, Dwayne Dibley, not Dwayne Dibley. Oh God, no. All right, I am going to be done in about 30 to 40 seconds. Oh, okay. I think everyone is here, though. So maybe Zahn? Hello. Okay, okay Zahn is here. Zahn is here. Holy shit. I'm, I'm already taking over for Zahn, so... Um, no, I'm no, you're not. Once he's here, he's here. No, that's not how it works. I've already get, take, assumed direct control. No. I did not know you were a collector. So He's weird. been trying to collect Ymir for, for fucking... Oh, uh, Flux is a started. collector, all right. A collector of finer things. It's be so weird once I start DMing and we don't have fucking... Can we Can we keep going? Do you have a storyline for, for another ten minutes? Maybe, I'm not sure. We're gonna throw more mooks here. <laughs> like, yeah, no, we can keep going for like, for like a day. You wanna keep going? Like, I can just pull shit out. Should we, there was a part of me that w- was going to question because I got like four days off. I was going to be like, at any point in the next four days, you guys have, you guys all have a shared day off. We could just wrap up the whole Zargon thing all at once. And I was like, nah, I'm just going to do it as regular. All right. Just need to... I've already, I've already got like three sessions set up. See, that's how I was at the beginning, and then you guys slowly start outpacing me, and I began to be unable to comprehend what direction you guys wanted to go in at any given time, because you started doing all sorts of weird shit. See, no, so like it's, that, that's not how it works. It's the illusion of choice. It's not actual choice. I know, it's but I like, I like giving actual choice much to my own discredit. It's like a telltale game. You all think it's going to change the end, but no, just some character is going to hate you more. No, it just balloons out in the middle, then it comes back to the bottom neck. Yeah. So, for simplicity's sake, you want me to only limit to my Warforge to, like, ten? No, you can drop them all. There'll be room. <laughs> oh, will there be room? Fourteen, I think? Forty-four is how many I have to work with. Actually, a full fifty. I can turn my music off I have a off full now. fifty if I want. I get YouTube set up and we can get going. Dun 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 dun. Thunder cancer, go. Let me get my fucking apology thing up because I'm just gonna read that off to the paler cleric. So, so, but how many Reichs guard? I mean, Wing Hussars. I mean, Royal Guardsmen. Am I bringing with me? Uh, could it just be assumed I'm drinking with the pay, with the Inquisitor Louis Armstrong? Fuck off, Bar. You went off with uh, Cromwell on his tinctured tantrum. But that does not mean we did not encounter him at all on the way. Oh, yeah, no, I remember. I'm, I'm pissed with you. Sure, sure, okay. 16. Yep. Yeah, no, th- th- that's where I'm going to kind of be able to fill out time is you guys have to actually come back together, get the band back together for the final push, do the final push, and then get to the fight. I'm going to fucking go apologize to the paler Claire. Oh, and... Frankly, all that really only needs to take about a half hour, 45 minutes for that to actually kill enough time for the fight. And the barbarian came with us, you know, so he can yes. drink with Kiri as much as he wants. Uh, I, I thought you killed you Kiri and shoved her body in a ditch. Oh, oh yeah, but that's we're gonna have that at the end at the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the cliffhanger for the next season. Did we not establish that was a cliffhanger with the shadow standing over her dead body. 
is the the shadow is, is strangely not raptor shaped meaning <gasps> did he change forms or is it not Cromwell? It's actually a raptor, which makes you think Cromwell's never actually been in his full form. I don't think that's him. <laughs> Who else would be a raptor? Yeah, but it's definitely not fucking Cromwell. We're introducing new character for next season, Mr. Uh, Pinkerton the Raptor. Oh god. <laughs> a simple Venezuelan odd jobber. <laughs> yeah, obviously doesn't have five different swords on his back. He can't be crumbled. All right, it's it's two. All right, let's start it. Yep, um, starting the stream. Two o two. What the fuck? Two o two. It's nine o three. All right. Pay no attention to this stream, those of you viewing at home. And by the stream, I mean that that image. All right. So Ymir stormed off. Kings are dead. New Who kings the are fuck crowned. Stormed off, asshole. I'm sorry that you were so. Promo. We'll, we'll Promo. Stormed off. We'll I, was like, I'm, I was looking at your name in the token list as I was talking. Goodbye, Ymir. <laughs> sorry to see you go. <laughs> I took my airship with me. Half the army. He took his airship and just started flying back toward the other continent. Ah, fuck this shit. I'm sure we'll be fine over here. I also was going with Promo. I'll yeah, give. So the I'll give the airship rockets and we'll just head out into space. We'll be fine. So we're starting off with you guys split the two groups, basically. Because Cromwell's got to be a little uh, a big wussy. And now you got the uh, the kingdom laid out before Zahn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kneeling before Zahn is optional. So um, I'm going to say a couple hours went by. If that's okay with everyone. And then Ymir flies back down off the airship and he goes finds the fucking Paylor Inquisitor. I mean, by a couple hours went by, I mean, you spent those couple hours going to the airship and then coming down from it. I mean, it's not that high, is it? I mean, as in, like, you were still at the palace when we left off. Yeah. So, I'm assuming you, you left the palace, went to the airship, then came back. No, if you want to be technical about it, fine. I tap my armor and I teleport up there. It's within 800 feet, right? Uh, um, no, I don't no, think so. No. It's probably about a mile, half a mile. Why the fuck would Ymir have it up that high? Because you're in the middle of the city and it's still outside. Yes, and I had it over the city as a show of force, jackass. Yep. No, no, over the no you walls. never said that. You had you had it floating over the city height-wise, but you never actually took it over the city walls. Think A squared. You, yes, you never once last session had this. Yes, had the I did. I specifically said we no, take the airship to the fucking. Uh, no, you did because track. I said, no because. It, no, you didn't. Did you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh. Motherfucker. Well, then you still didn't because the running track was the walls. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, in fact, I specifically mentioned he ran along the walls. That was the track. <laughs> Fine. I fucking take the... I take the time to fly up there and wait a little while then. Happy? Yes. Are we all happy now? I fly the airship close enough where I could just teleport up it, off of it now. And now the people in the streets are wondering what the fuck is going on. Yeah, it'll be fine. The writing has begun. <laughs> yeah, the writing has begun, actually. Mm -hmm. the, the guards are, are suppressing the, the panicking peasantry at this point. I, I guess I get word of writing and I to, to try to stop it. Yeah, no, no one knows whether or not they're actually supposed to report to you yet because no one's actually 100% sure that you're king yet, besides the guy who told you you're king. The people actually believe you are Zargon and they've started attacking the ship. <laughs> All right, I fly over the river, so I'm not over the city. Is that is that okay? He's going after I mean, the water supply. <laughs> it's still causing a bit of a panic, but yeah. Fucking yeah. It's, it's no better, but it's no worse. So, like, something like that? <sighs> All right, I don't have control over my own goddamn airship token. No, you don't. Because <laughs> I get final say on whether or not the airship works. Well, you, you do have control of it. You just have consequences that need to be dealt with. Well, at the same time, it's now just you, a regular boat. You just need to be able to tell the DM, listen to the DM always say, are you sure you want to make this move? And then let the DM move you. Right. Everything this airship does must is basically a political statement. 
Well, this is a political statement. In support of the new king, the airship is there. The, the new king that hasn't been announced yet. <laughs> um, all right, Ymir fucking teleports back to the palace, finds out what's going on with fucking Zahn. Uh, Zahn, Zahn is currently in the middle of uh, conversations with very confused people wondering whether or not he's king and what happened to the old king. Why is this man now king? How is this man king? Why is the king dead? How is the king dead? By the way, there's writing going on. Why is there writing? Hey, there's an airship in the sky. What's up with that? There's, there's a lot right. of questions being thrown in his direction. He's probably understandably overwhelmed. Do you, should I roll a diplomacy roll? You should. You should definitely do what? Diplomacy <laughs> roll to make all people in the room chill the fuck out. Okay, you, me you know what? Is Ymir in the room at this point? Yeah, in fact, his sudden arrival probably caused a little bit more panic of people. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, I need to kill the king. What? Ymir, you here to kill the new king? All right, 35. You, you, it doesn't Wait, matter. There's, there's Ymir, no fails with Ymir f supports him with this roll? I mean, at this point, he already passed. Oh, okay. With yeah, a, with he, he gets everyone's attention and, and, tell, and gets them to calm the fuck down and explains what's going on and they kind of just have a collective oh, okay well I, I'm gonna pipe up what the fuck is that about what do you mean that's what that's about these guys they were crazy what's, what's going on I thought it was established you are king with one guy. These guys came in and they have no idea what's going on. I had to explain it to them. So you've ordered them to go tell the people, right? I wouldn't do that. It's a, it's a little hard to establish a new... <sighs> oh, God. He's them. starting into a snatcher. Our king is a robot. Kill him. Oh, God. God damn it. Kojima's come for us. I, so um, I, I give orders to quell the rioting and try to have explain what's going on. Okay. The, the, the orders go out and actions are taken. So, uh, Limited Zahn, you no have... casualties, please. So, Zahn, you wouldn't have... Well, there's a regime change. There's always going to be casualties. There's going to be people who take advantage. There's going to be people too, who take advantage thinking people are no longer powerful. Yeah. Can't be helped. I, guess I, limit I mean, it, it's a legal regime change. So it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. He was always... he was legitimately next in line for the throne. Yeah, it's a legitimate rule change, but there's always like the favorite, the favorite duke who was, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Um, so uh, Thomas, you wouldn't happen to know where that cleric of Palor was, is, right? Still, he's still there. I, I look 90 degrees to my right. <laughs> he's putting Zom this whole time. He, oh, there he is. I'm going to ask him if we can have a chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at Flux's comment in the chat. All right, yeah, you, you, can, you can have your chat. All right, we're going to go to another room. So I don't want this overheard. This is uninvited to your chat. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. First, I'm going to make a diplomacy roll. I stealthily walk to the door and put my ear against it. <laughs> make a stealth roll then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> clang, 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 <laughs> clang. That's what I'm waiting for. Let's see. What's my stealth roll? I mean, he might pass it. I only have a three to listen. Why can't you find stealth? Or is it just the move? It's, 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 yeah, it's move silently. It's move silently. Oh, move it's the silently. actual skill. Yeah, like yeah. move silently, you're hiding. Which you take a negative fucking eight to because of your armor. <laughs> This eight. Actually, that is high enough nice. to pass. That, that's high actually high enough to pass his passive listen check because your passive listen check is just a 10 plus your, your modifier. 
Jesus fuck. How do you have a plus five with a negative eight to your roll? No, that I, I, that's before the negative eight. Yeah, I said that's, even, but but even with the negative eight, that's still better than the thirteen DC to pass your yeah, passive yeah, listen. Right. And then, I'm fine. He gets to listen in on Ymir being fucking actually apologetic for once. All right. Uh, what? Are, let's see. First, I'm going to do a diplomacy roll. Try to say this as as sympathetic as I can, even though it's not written that way. Fifty-six. Shit. Okay, fifty-six to what? Uh, to what I'm about to say. Uh, Inquisitor of Palor, I apologize. I apologize for being so giddy over your discovery that the Church of Light is corrupt. You seem like a truly good man, as I see you now. Yet, as your yet your first impression was the same as I had seen before. Arrogance, where there should be humility. You didn't ask us questions. You assumed to the point of almost violence uh, of our intentions. I hope when this is over, skipping over a bunch of this shit, I hope this when this is over, you can... I was going to say, good, because this is kind of a shitty apology. Yeah, it is, but it is an apology. It's, it, it's Yamir's style. I, I had to write this in Yamir's style. Um, I truly hope when this is over, you can rebuild the church as as someone I once knew believed in it, Father Liam, I do not know what happened to this man, but he was truly a good. I mean, uh, he's he's alive and and you're with your guys. He's uh, part of Flux's group. Yeah, you might want to talk to Flux about that. Um, I do not know what has happened. With that in mind, I uh I pull out the de I unwrap the demon crystal I have. You may want to stop using these as your messaging devices. We uh these come Why? straight They're from just hell. Yeah. they come straight from hell. He, he just kind of stares at you blankly, like he knows this already. Oh, okay. He's like, yeah, and they get made by the college as well. Well, okay. How many times do I have to drill that these things are not important? <laughs> it's just an example. Um, also, you may <laughs> want to... They ground up 500, over 500 of things just to make a fucking magical fucking landline across that the was ocean. The in... No, those were the infernal orbs, jackass. No, it wasn't. Those were the crystals. You said it was the infernal no, orbs. No, I said it was the crystals. Fuck you. I told you the orbs were destroyed on when found way back in like the second session. Uh, also, I would ask that you no longer. Damn it, man. Pay attention. I would ask that you no longer grant your enforcers the power to raise the dead. When we first met the in the early inquisitors, they seemed to attack the innocent at random and raise them from the dead. We do not raise from the dead. That is odd. That is very odd. He just kind of shrugs. I mean, from what you established, they were evil, so he's not going to question it. All right. Well, I hope you accept my apology. That was good enough. He just kind of walks off at that after that. Congratulations, New Tech. He's now neutral to you. Good. Happy, happy, Woo. happy. <laughs> That whole bit in there about Father Liam, how I don't know what happened to him, and he was someone I truly thought was a good man, but I decided to skip a bunch of it. All right, moving on. Yeah, I think it's still that just was, the priest of the church. That was going nowhere fast. Yeah, well, sorry. I wrote it yeah, down. Fun, so and I It was kind of an awkward segue, but I knew it was coming. You, you warned me about it earlier. By earlier, I mean like last night. Whatever. All right, so... That's what's been going on in the city. Meanwhile, out in the Adventure Woods, Fox and Bara, what are you guys doing? Come on, Crumble. Show us your show us your pouty face. Y'all drinking. Yeah. 
Well, you can read what they've been doing if you fucking zoom in on the chat. <laughs> Starting worship of a primal pig god. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure if that was in character or not. Okay. Totally, totally with Carlos turn <laughs> All right. Uh, so he's just been off inciting primal pig god worship. All right. Cromwell headed off. He stopped a few hours away, sat down to start drinking with his men for, for about an hour. His men, his men went and re they rested for the night. Okay. So at, at this point, it is, it is, it is evening. It is getting late, and you've both been apart for some time. Fuck it, Ymir. Uh, Ymir gets. Goes back to the army, okay. the army that's still here, and uh, tells them to rest up, drink, eat, and be prepared to move out in the morning. Okay. Anyone else want to do anything before we go to tomorrow? Um, uh, just, just get the proper funeral rites done for the past king. Does Thomas want to check out his comp his concubines? I'm too busy. <laughs> I mean, you you assume he even had any? You assume they're not pig monstrosities. <laughs> he had one, but she's not there. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just a singular purple worm in a corset, just down in the dungeon. <laughs> Lipstick we on. Led, just, we, we were led to believe a lot of things about this town that are not true. <laughs> Gives great head, but other than that. The whole Tell body it. experience. <laughs> Town was held up by a shoestring. <laughs> you know, this was, this was supposed to be like one of the big monumental cities that's lasted for forever. One of the great powers. And I'm like, how the fuck is this a great power? The, now they're all the force one from Skyrim worshiping a pig god. <laughs> <laughs> There's people in the street screaming about the dung of mankind. <laughs> All right, so it's it's the next day. The city's calmed down a lot now that people have explained what the fuck is going on. The people are like, oh, okay. I would think they'd still be a little worried about the fucking flying fortress that's never been seen before, but okay. Now, now they're, 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 they're the French. Why don't you explain that everything's in order? They're okay. <laughs> One poor man sold his house already for this new revolution. He's <laughs> you know, just all alone with like big, big basement memorabilia and merch. Everything just went back to normal overnight, and there's just the head full of people that went a little too hard one end, and just kind of like, ah, there's just one, one dude like, like, there's, there's the, one merchant they're with a hundred. They're of, half naked in their butcher aprons with their slongs hanging out and their cleavers going, oh. Yeah. There's just one merchant with a thousand Otangwe pendants that he's not going to ever be able to sell again. <laughs> there, there's three guys who are now on the run because they know if they ever get seen again, they're fucked. Someone told them the to purge. So many happened. unspeakable things with pigs. <laughs> it's like if the purge got called off halfway through. <laughs> Alright, um... I know, that's actually kind of what's going on right now. <laughs> so, now that everything's coming down in morning... At the <laughs> there's, just, there's just lines of people being marched off to the prison. <laughs> <sighs> well, Ymir sees this and goes, well, sucks to be you. Um... We we uh I take the airship and we I head towards the direction of the church. I assume okay. the army is following me. All Back. right, let I me order them to follow. What is Tom that. is Thomas joining me on the airship? What about well Bar is already gone, so um. was Paylor Priest coming with us or saying I forget? So that what Paler oh, Priest is is he staying or going? He's going. Oh, okay. Um Does Paylor Priest want to ride on I the I mean air it depends. Do, do do you mean Paylor Priest as in the guy who follows Flux around? Paylor Priest as in Father Liam, or Paylor Priest as in the fucking Inquisitor? The Inquisitor. Okay, because he's not a priest. He's an Inquisitor. As in All both right. guys that follow me around. Okay. The Inquisitor is not. Fair enough. I mean, there are priests of Paylor following you at this point, but because that's because he ordered them to, in case you need healers. So I would I keep, I would keep the healers on the airship because I'm planning on having that be like a mobile fortress on the battlefield. If if uh, if that's okay with you, okay. 
I'm just printing something out that I realized um, I should have printed out like 20 minutes ago. But I, I don't so, want there to just be text on the screen while I'm reading off what happens to get there. So is anyway. there an army station here besides the guards? Yes, there. there is, like I said before, there's the king's personal uh, guard, which is about a thousand, a thousand men that directly order, uh, take orders from the king and only the king. All right. Well, I round them up and I, I, I tell them where we're going. Okay. Yeah, I recommend you don't take everybody. We won't. Well, no, no, no. There's, there's still the city guard. All right. And that messed up. This is like, I, the, the, like this is basically said. the king. This is basically the king's personal army that other lords and commanders can't take away from him without his explicit permission. Like it's if there's a journal that says there's a war going on and he needs more men, these are the these are like the only people he can't just you know commandeer for the cause unless the king lets him have them. Son takes Fair all enough. his men. Men they start marching. They turn back around. Immediately, of like fifty pig pig statues been put up that the citizens quickly <laughs> shove away. Oh, welcome back. Oh, whoa, we have a king. Oh, oops. Now, guys, don't turn to pagan worship when I leave. For... <laughs> I, actually, people are already uh, taking bets on whether or not they're going to have a, a victorious warrior king for their next reign, or if he's going to die foolishly uh, on the eve of his, of his coronation before he even gets his crown put on him officially. Can I like Ymir kind of wants to take a side trip now and find one of the betting parlors and set it on fire? <laughs> oh, well, you, you are sure that this is very normal for for for, for, the, for a new king. There's there's oh, lots I... of bets taken on whether or not he's going to be successful or die sometime before the crown's put on his head. Fine, oh, Ymir won't fucking kill them all. Disrespect. There's also friend. a thousand to one odds that he's going and him being a coward and running back at the first sign of danger. All right, Ymir's going to make note of anyone yeah. who takes that bet. Hold up uh, a second. <laughs> they're going to find life very I, hard I wanna, in a minute. Can I, can I cloak myself? To be, fair, to, be, to be fair, Zahn, the, the, that, those odds are actually um, worse, financially payout speaking, than the odds of you coming back a victorious hero against the Church of Life. <laughs> oh, I was going to slyly sneak in there and yeah. like, I like the, to place all the my odds money are, on cowardly... Yeah, the <laughs> odds are basically... Ten to one that you die, a hundred to one that you fail but 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 survive or spared by the church and live the rest of your days in shame. Um, five hundred to one that you're executed, a thousand to one that you run away a coward and return to hide out in your palace, and about ten thousand to one that you succeed, come back triumphant, and become a great king for the rest of your days. All right, Ymir's gonna find one of these betting parlors and put one platinum down on he comes back victorious. <laughs> Ymir doesn't need the money anymore, and everyone knows this, but he just he's just doing it. He, no, he's doing it so he can clean them the fuck out. So the funny part is, I don't think they have enough money to actually pay out that bet. That's the point. I'm going to take everything. Ymir's going to take everything they have. <laughs> you're you're going to bankrupt the entire criminal underground network of this entire country. Yeah, in all because they, Yeah, all because they doubted my friend. That is the old, Ymir is a, smi a spiteful <laughs> bastard. When first, day, first day of coming <laughs> back, of coming back to Valor Triumphant. You're crying a new my king and there's much celebration. Second day, keys. all crime is announced ended by bankruptcy. <laughs> 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 no, I'm seriously doing it. Man, man named Ymir that. credited as reason, reason collecting a debt. <laughs> right. Okay, so is, is Cromwell also heading off? Has, 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 he, has he chosen to, re, to, to rejoin everybody, or is he making his own way toward the church? Cromwell's heading back. Yeah, okay. Same here. So y'all are going to meet us heading there on the road? More or less. Okay. So, but by the way, what what are my troop types in the in my guard? What do they consist of? You got some cavalry, some foot soldiers, and archers. All right, so basic comp. Good. I'm gonna turn to Thomas and go. You know, we're not gonna need any of that, right? And I point to my fucking airship. I just look at it. I was like, shrug, <laughs> and I keep going. <laughs> And it immediately gets taken but down by logs tied tied to strings by little bear men. <laughs> <laughs> the midget bear men. All right, uh, we head out. Airship right, so, yeah, right we, overhead. Uh, yeah. So a after after enough hours of flying and marching, you you eventually catch up to uh, flux uh, 
Buxton, Kiri. And you continue along your merry way if no one wants to say anything. And about a week later. Wait. Uh, oh, hey, Cromwell. Where'd you head off to? I'm back to here to make sure you don't kill anyone else. Yeah, well, I promise you. I, I, oh, right. I have to act, actually have something I needed to say. This is that was not in character. I, I will walk up to Cromwell and I will say. I admit I went overboard and I will promise not to do that again. And then I just turn and walk back. Okay. All right. That happened. Okay. Yamir is making efforts, okay? Fuck y'all. It happened. All right, so about a, a week out from the city, um, dawn breaks as you come within view of the holy city. That is the Cathedral of Light. Uh, the city is still most of a day away, but you can still see its spires and, bo- and domes rising into the sky from the vantage of the airship's main deck and bridge. In the center is the largest spire, which you know to be the main cathedral where the Grand Clerics preside under the guidance of the Lord High Cleric. Uh, the main spire is large enough to be a small village unto itself, and somewhere within it you can only presume that uh, they are working to bring back Zargon with all the people they've been kidnapping. Uh, your army is now waking up for the day. And you can pretty much assume that this is going to be the the final day of marching to get to the city. Do we? Uh, do I see any army from the airship yet? Uh, as a matter of fact, you can see um, the the black mass of what you can only assume to be a large number of troops marching from the distance from the area around the base of the city. All right, I need to ask the party. Anyone have uh, a good geography? Anyone got knowledge of geography? Uh, I have just a plus... I have a plus three at most. I I can do better with a this flat intelligent roll. Better world um, map? Yeah, this is my better world map, I think. So, uh, I'm going to make this roll, and hopefully it goes well. Yeah, okay. All right, I I do a G- I basically try to scout out the best place to land the airship and have an advantage over the battlefield, like a good hill or something like that. Um, with the side, with uh, basically broadsiding what will be the battlefield, so I have cannons. Well, most up. of the area between where you are in the Church of Light is open flat ground. Um, but there is somewhat of a rise about halfway between where you are now and where the Cathedral of Light is. All right, so that's where I'm going to land the airship, position the cannons correctly, and then have our our army amass. Okay, Um, so it it, it takes you about half the day to get there and and get in position. He's doing something with righteous wrath or something in the Hero's Feast. I don't know yeah, what that does. I'm just doing my setup things for the day. Everyone, everyone's yeah, getting a yeah. hero's feast and the righteous wrath of the faithful. Yeah, it's we. I forget what those bonuses are. I'm sure Flux will tell us. Nope. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so, I'm, if I'm I want, there, let me just take a quick peek at okay. my notes here because I got to remember how big an army I actually gave you. I uh, want to keep the casters on the deck of the ship. Uh, archers as well. But definitely open up with a cannon barrage to the enemy. So I don't want anyone in front of the airship if it can be helped. Okay. If, no, if I... that's okay with everybody else. I believe, unless I'm horribly mistaken, Neotag, you had 7,000 peasants under your command? Yeah, you said I have a mercenary army force of about 500, and then you gave us 7,000 who joined us, and then we also had various amounts that you haven't given of minotaurs and and elves and uh, 
the Sahagwin stayed at the coast. So yeah, the Sahagwin, the, neither the Sahagwin or the Tritons can survive more than an hour of water. So, yeah. so we have Minotaurs, we have uh, Elves, the Wild Elves. I don't remember if we got any support okay. from so, the Quizzicodal, but I don't think we did. I don't think you even went to ask. Yeah, I don't, I don't I remember. Fact, I think you specifically avoided it because you didn't trust snake people. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, ballparking uh, with all of your forces and Zahn's new army, you have about 9,000 people all set up to go right now. That's rounded to the nearest, you know, thousand. Or actually, I technically rounded to the nearest hundred, but as, as I'm sure there's the, 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 the straight dozen or so here and there. And which actually puts you pretty good because you're being hit now by an advanced force that you actually outnumber. Yeah. Do, when we see the advanced force, do are they charging or do, are they like setting up? They're they're they're, they're coming to um, just outside of conventional battle magic in archery range and so, setting up ranks. Still within range they, of my cannon. You outnumber them. Yeah, but you outnumber them a shit ton. Uh, let me do the quick math here. It's 11. I think. Yeah, so 1,100 soldiers just showed up to try and stop what they, the army they heard was coming to find a force of 9,000 sitting there with a giant airship. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, these puny people will not be able to... Oh, shit, there's a lot of them. Yeah, they, they are understandably taking a very defensive posture and kind of circling, the, uh, semi-circling all along the front facing you. All right, well, I open uh, fire. I'm, I'm literally probably going to let this get decided by a handful of rolls and not even bother with a map. All right, well, I, I do three cannon barrages to open up battle. Three full barrages? Yeah, just it, not on one spot, but basically to break up their ranks. Okay. Um, I'm going for a wide path, not for a focused. If that, that's the way I can say it. So maximum splash? Yeah, maximum splash. So you launch three AOEs basically for 73, 49, and 63 damage. Yeah, um, I... And pummel the shit out of the ground and crater it. <laughs> I thought they were in range of the cannons. They are in range of the cannons. Yeah. You said oh. you, you, you said you aimed the scatter Neotag. If you want if you want to aim to scatter, you didn't aim directly at them. <laughs> No, no. What I okay. What I meant by okay, it is so like, you're you're firing into their into their ranks properly. Yeah, I'm firing okay. into their ranks, but in random locations. Basically, the goal is to break up their formation. Okay. Well, I mean, not for nothing. That's what is the splash damage each does? I'm going to say about fifteen feet. That's fifteen. By barrage, I meant all the cannons. I thought there was. I know it's. I know it's all the cannons. You have. You have. You. You basically have twelve barrels that you're firing. Yeah. And you're firing them for D twelve damage, and you're firing them three times. So. Okay. I. I'm doing the math here. Fair enough. If I can find where I put my phone, so I can actually have my calculator. Here we go. So you did fifteen foot blasts. And 12 locations, three times. So you hit a 540 square foot area. <laughs> you destroyed half their army. Are their formations broken up? They don't have formations now. <laughs> they, they, they have dead, wounded, and panicked. They they are ready to route the this instant. They they were not prepared for this. I turned to Cromwell and the rest. Should we give them a chance to surrender? They had many chances. All right. Uh, I don't I don't know about that, Zon, but okay. 
<laughs> they had, all right, let's get ready to try and hold off this big... Oh, God, cadence! Yes. The first shot should have been the first warning. The second shot was I mean, he, he, he fired basically one right after the other. Exactly. They it it, ta- it takes seconds to reload his cannons. <laughs> so, they didn't um, have time to process to, to, what was going on between shots. All right, fine. So we'll I, I talked to Tom. To leave. I, no, I, I, I go to Thomas and I go, you give the order to attack. You're the king. <sighs> All right. Let's, um, let's see if they roll. Let's, let's see if they leave. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll now for your army because at this point it's just a D100 roll. <laughs> <laughs> Goal was to break up their yeah, formation. You, 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 you instantly swarm in and just fucking slaughter them. That was a fifty-fifty chance on being an utter rout right there. You pissed that that fifty-fifty in their face. So, um, did we take any prisoners? I mean, anyone who somehow managed to survive those cannon shots. Uh, all right, I, I, I'm gonna ask Cromwell because he's the one that was talking about um, letting uh, showing mercy. Should we give them a chance to join our side, or should we just I'll, allow me to to be a little bit more more thorough with what I mean by people who survived? Uh, basically, your prisoners are all crippled for life, in horrible agony, and bleeding out. Oh, so more interrogation than fought. Uh, no, more like it'd probably be a mercy at this point just to finish them off, unless you plan to take the time to regenerate their limbs and put their organs back inside them. Um, Amir's <laughs> going to look at his companions and basically go, "Okay, mercy kill." I start swinging my uh, morning star. <laughs> Not even giving them the quick death of a no. shot between the eyes. You're just bludgeoning their skulls in <laughs> with a pointy mace. It's a little meta on this end, but arrows break if they hit a target. So I know we just, they break if you hit a target, but that's just I just like the idea of Faro's idea of a mercy kill is to bludgeon a man's skull in who's already just been horribly screwed up by shrapnel. Hey, with a twenty one strength, I could probably crush a skull quite easily. <laughs> They're 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 helpless. Yes, it's a coup de gras. Each time he's, you hit, he's fucking going Gallagher on him, <laughs> like melons, like melons. The wounded fall before mighty bar. I actually think that I don't think as a knight, I don't think I'm allowed to do mercy kills. I think that person yeah. has to be. Do you, do you at least have a knife you could be slitting their throats with? I mean. <laughs> I think if they technically beg you to kill them, you can do that. I I send all right before Bara fucking Gallagher's everyone. <laughs> I send the Warforge out to mercy kill these guys. Just anyone who can survive, I I order them to bring back. But if it's clear that they're just basically living dead, to go ahead and put them out of their misery. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Ymir looks at Bar like, dude, the fuck? To be fair, they're bleeding out. They probably only got a few minutes left at most. Use a knife. Anything. It's almost kinder to let them bleed out. <laughs> Anything but seeing It's at least more over. dignified. <laughs> like, God. you're walking over to a group of people who are dying, and you're just going... And, and they're just smack. watching as one by one their skulls are being caved in by this wild woman. <laughs> smack! Oh, God, no! We're, no! Smack! <laughs> oh, man. Meanwhile, I'm saying all the things Gallagher would say. Okay. Oh, um. So, I'm just gonna assume that now got all taken care of before we... Continue spend the, the next hour marveling at this. So, <laughs> all right, you you get your forces marshaled back up after the series of mercy kills, and uh, you 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 estimate that you'll reach the Cathedral of Light by dark. Um, no, no, we take a break. We take a break, 
And you said there was like 1,100 of them? There was. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know there was. Yeah, um, 650 or so left. I go around and I carve out with Disintegrate some mass graves, and we're going to take the time to bury them. Okay? Okay. That, that seems almost like a paradox. We're making mass graves to give them a proper burial. <laughs> Well, th I'm doing this for a few reasons. One, which, by the way, I need to ask, did any of them rise up as undead? Um, a handful here and there, but, I mean, what were they going to do? They were kind of <laughs> Why do you think decimated. I had morning star like, 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 li like, literally, the ones that rose up, Neotag, would have been, like, the odd disembodied skull or just horribly crippled zombie trying to teeter along with no legs and one arm. With detect magic and uh, I, st it's still energy coming straight from the sky, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, you're you're make... still unable to pinpoint a source because it's out of your range. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm going to burying them is probably a bad idea. So I'm going to burn the bodies. I guess is the most logical thing to do. I guess while that happens, I <laughs> I say the proper rites. Yes, I, I I would ask the priest to say proper rites and all that, but I don't want to leave a battlefield full of bodies. Let's just leave it at that. No matter how mangled they are. Yeah, no matter how mangled they are. So, Ymir's not even going to loot their armor and shit. He's I mean, there's no what's point. Left there's, not, there's nothing yeah. usable left. I know, but he's not even going to try. It's just literally just taking care of the battlefield on our way. All right. So you're, you're going to spend the rest of the day doing that and then stop for the night? Yeah, and then head out the next day. Okay. So the next day, you, you head out. What's even by... here? I'm here. Yeah. Okay. He just has watching. nothing to add. Right. Almost has been watching. Almost been taking note. Anyway, so yeah. So by now it's more it's it's more than assumed probably at this point the survivors have made it back to the cathedral and told them what the fuck happened. So uh, you reach the cathedral of light after another half day. Um and you are you are greeted by a city sized series of churches, modest homes, barracks, and pretty much everything you would assume a militarized order would have on a on a scale that is as I said before, like a city unto itself. Um, and yes, how are the walls? Uh, big and thick. I'd hmm. say the walls are about five hundred feet high. <laughs> At least the outer walls are. Uh, how thick? About fifty feet. Hmm. All right. Um. I kind of want to give them a chance to surrender. Okay. I, well, gonna, you can say that to the thousands of people standing on these walls, going down at you with, with bows, crossbows, and catapults. Oh, no. If, they, if they're clearly armed and ready, then no. That, all, right. Um, all right. I mean, there's at least as many people on the wall closest to you as there was in that entire last battle that you fought. <laughs> Well, okay. I don't want to be stupid, but Ymir kind of wants to give them a chance to surrender. <laughs> like, uh, you're, you're you're welcome to to send to, to send an envoy out under a, a white flag of truce yeah, to I'll, discuss I'll, surrender. I I will send one of the war forges with the white flag. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, uh, the massive gates to the city open, and out comes a, a man under heavily armed guard um, to meet the Warforged. Uh, the Warforged delivers the message. We have already routed one of your armies. We are here to t discuss your terms of surrender. Uh, his reply is, you defeat a scout force, uh, spits on the ground, and leaves. Okay. Uh, as soon as Ymir finds this out, he uh, orders another barrage of the cannons against the main gate. Okay. 
I mean, it, it, they they got their chance, and I we're gonna roll it. All right, so you do. Twenty-seven plus fifty-four plus one hundred and seventy-five damage to the walls. Uh, do they are they still standing? Yep. Unscathed. Um, you know they seemed a little scorched by the the cannons, the cannonballs blasting against it, and a little, you know, dinged up. But um, yeah, they're standing. Hmm, a challenge. I, uh, I'm going to give two more barrages and see what happens. And if after that, nothing happens. I, I'm going to, I guess we, it's going to be time to actually do combat. Now, you, you do realize I'm aiming at the gate, right? Yes. Okay. You're, you're aiming at the actual door. Yes. The, the massive 100 foot door. Ooh, 100. I mean, height-wise, anyway. No, I mean, you rolled 100. Yeah. yeah. And the next barrage... What's the door made out of? Um, iron. Or steel. You can't quite tell from where you are, but it's definitely metal. Fair enough. I'm Ymir is literally just trying to avoid the situation where we're on one side of the wall and there's no way in. That's all I'm trying to do. I kind of wish everyone. All right. At this point, was... after three barrages, the the doors look like they're buckling, and they they've begun, and they've definitely more than begun after the second uh, barrage to cave in. They they uh, seem like it wouldn't take much more to finally uh, blow them in. All right, one last barrage to blow in the doors, and then let's let's just say they went down. You don't have to make the rolls if you don't want. I mean, to. I I need I need to make sure they actually did enough damage. <laughs> I don't. I want to know how many barrages this takes the attack. It took four. All right, it took four. No, it took five. <laughs> it took five barrages to break the 1,000 HP metal doors. Fair enough. That's really fucking strong. Are these doors adamantine? No, they're just really fucking thick. <laughs> and really big. These, these doors were made at the end of the Dawn War to keep Zargon in. <laughs> so... Are we all right? Uh, what do we see once the doors fall? Are they like soldiers funneling out? What? Hang on, it's not letting me pull you out to this. Also, I feel like this has become the Ymir show. I hope Flocks and Come others. Pipe let up. me move you guys to the actual fucking map. There we go. Oh, we're good. Oh, god, that hurt. Yeah, I was expecting this. So, um, through the inner wall it is basically just an empty, a large empty courtyard leading to the first inner wall, which you see Bowman on and catapults. And from the airship, you can see as you pass through the giant doors that you've blown open that there are people waiting to fight you off on the inside of this point, which is where the actual uh, city begins. I'm going to punch the shit out of those dopey cat robots. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why am I getting flashbacks to that one episode where we had to deal with a bunch of... All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to please beg okay. Sovic to put one of our characters down somewhere uh, so I can... Put me down on this line. Let me do a bull rush. Let me <laughs> dominate. <laughs> Let I me think dominate. You're gonna get it. I think you're going to get to do plenty of bull rushes, okay? Uh, uh, this is going to take... Uh, Ymir kind of wants to do more barrages, but I don't want to waste all this setup, so he's he's going to stop <laughs> at that. 
<laughs> I gotta, I gotta find where you guys are. My fucking thing. Where's right. the gate? So, it's like a fucking Picross picture. What the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, um, I forgot I was using a grid on Fractal Mapper when I made the map. So, <laughs> when I made the fucking thing bigger, it did this. It looks horrid, dude. I know, but I didn't have time to fix it. It was already oh 830. It's like something from, like, an 80s video game. So, I'm going to assume most of the archers on that wall are already dead from the cannon fire? Well, this is the, the inner wall. I, I, I'm skipping ahead a bit. So, you, you've, you, you basically have fought your way onto the wall, and you're, you're now on the upper wall. Uh, the inner wall. The first inner wall. All right, let me start putting down fucking warforges. So, yeah, yeah you, you basically breached the wall. I'm going to kill some of these archers off. That's quite a few. To represent you fighting your way up onto the wall. I'm just going to kill everything as well, heading in this direction. And your army's going to be below this wall on the on the side that you can't see. Uh, in the courtyard, basically, uh, holding position while you, you fight along the wall. Alright, I, I brought 16 Warforges with me. I don't want to... Uh, where, where that uh, road is that the guys are standing on over here, that's above uh, where the gate is. All right. uh, could you repeat that motion again? Over there. Okay, well, I guess it's time to start a ro rolling initiatives. Yep. Seventeen for the Warforges. Thirty-three for Ymir. And Carmel's initiative. And Thomas's initiative. Petruccio taking place in this fight. I can't spell his name, so I'm just going to put him in as Petruccio Toot. <laughs> Thanks. I don't, I don't know how to spell Petruccio. Okay, there's there's the real Petruccio. Petruccio too would be this is retarded cousin who died. All right, so he has the eleven, and you have the twenty nine. Yes. All right, I'm just gonna give the army a flat initiative of one. Because they oh, I, are slow. Fuck you. Well, I, I get it. They're going to start taking out guys as well while we're fighting up here. Um, I mean, off camera, there's going to be guys funneling in from the parts of the wall you can't see on this map. And there's, yeah. there's basically going to be a battle going around. Like I, I did the math because I already figured out what how many people are where. Yes, son?
Flux, it's the it's because you have to just keep things quiet that you're being quiet tonight, right? My mind's elsewhere, but yeah. Oh, okay. Are you okay, dude? Yeah. Don't worry, I've been paying attention. Carmel's been watching. Carmel's been taking note of everything you guys have done. Alright. Sorry about that. I hope so, because Ymir has tried to... So, yeah, yeah. The, the, your, your two armies are basically, in overall size, are basically evenly matched. So there, there's just going to be a massive battle off-camera going on between the two armies while you guys are doing this this solo push through through this section. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and just ignore anything that's not in our range for now. All right, let's sort them numerically descending, and we begin with Bara. All right. Question. Can I roll onto those bodies, or is that considered, like, difficult terrain or not? The, the ones something... at the edge of the wall? Yeah. Um... Or or the warp forge that Neotag brought along? Uh, like, say, these kind of bodies. Yeah, you could roll against the ones with the X's on them. The rest of them are alive. I mean, they're, they're just dead bodies. You can stand on a dead body. We're really getting that gory bara thing going on now. I, mean, I can With take out head a lot of bashing and the body quickly. rolling. And I can take Don't out a lot shame, of bara. So. Bara spent too much time with Cromwell, got really metal. 40 foot move, motherfucker. So. This is a penetrating shot, so I can hit all en the next 12 okay. enemies in front of me. So this is going to be 24 friggin' hit die. You're lucky that's a bowman in front of you, or he'd be smacking you in the face with a melee weapon right now. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, you lucky son of a bitch. I, I need to pull those up, because I'm going to need those in a second. All right, penetrating shot. You have to make the each roll. Damn it. Twenty-four. Do you automatically miss not two hit? of them. Yeah, you automatically miss two of them because you rolled a one. Yeah, okay, there's a one. There's three ones. Three, I thought there were only two. Three ones. Alright, so three of them don't die. Let me go back up to the start of this and figure out who lived and who died. <laughs> yeah, that was just me moving. I still got I, more attacks. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure these guys have the HP to survive whatever you're doing. Alright, they, they have 50 HP each, actually. So, I'm just gonna... Have you roll? Go ahead and just roll the damage, and now. Mm-hmm. I I don't know why he chose to kill these particular people when his these these people were essentially no threat to you. And your your goal, I I hope you guys realize, is not necessarily to kill everybody here, but to press inward while these guys try to body block you. All right. Can we get, like, a marker on who, where the Pope is? Like, do we have that intelligence? No, you, well, he's, he's in the giant cathedral in the middle of the city. Which is not on this map. Oh, then you need to give us a direction that where it... Oh, where we're, you're oh. heading north toward the giant statue boss people. Fair enough. All the roads are clearly funneling north. There's a few side ones, yeah, but there, there, there's like that whole big, like obvious, important thing up at the top of the, with the the symmetrical design and everything. 
Do you want me to just keep rolling, or should we just take that as the damage everyone takes initially? You only get one damage roll with a penetrating shot. It take it does okay. damage as well. I'm down. for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna say you killed however many people you just rolled for. All right, twelve people. You killed twelve people. Okay, congratulations. Twelve less people shooting at us. Jimmy, your turn. Yes, twelve less people shooting at you that can't hit you. Ymir's moving there, and he's just gonna throw his spear at the uh, guy in guy in front of the warforge. No. No, he's gonna. Let me see. Do I have the range? Oh yeah, I got the range. All right, so does thirty hit? Uh, yep. That guy's. Uh, yes, it does. All right, no damage. God. Twenty-four damage. Okay. He is he's hurting. When you throw a melee weapon and you have two attacks, does it do you get the hit twice? No. No? Okay. No. Your weapon doesn't do cartwheels in the air. Well, I have throwing and returning. Yes, it does. It doesn't look like that though. <laughs> oh, I was got to had this image of it. My spear went through him, immediately turned around, and then went through him again. Returning returns it to your hand at the end of the turn. At, at the end of the round. No turn. Fair enough. Yeah. Be a nice time to have your horse. Wouldn't it? Hmm? Would, would have been a nice time to have a horse. I mean, there's it it nothing to say that he doesn't have it. it. You would just need to be large. Zahn, are you on your horse? I would uh, assume so, unless otherwise told. Okay, then you're on your horse. Oh, okay. There you go. Also, Zahn, this gray bit you're on is a wall, and everything above you is not on the wall. So you, you have to get over here to get off the wall. What's the, right. what's the range? What's the drop? It's a 30-foot uh, drop. <laughs> I know, Crumble can do oh. that easy. All these people are going to see some shit. Uh, I need, I would like to know, uh, is this the area I'm going for? Yeah. Is there like a stairway down or something? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to mark it because I, I, I thought I put a trap door when I made the map, but I apparently forgot to. So the like, quick question. These, those things, are they on the with the wall? I, 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 I'm not. Uh, the buildings? Yes. Uh, the big gray one, the big brown ones, are about ten feet shorter than the wall. Okay. And then the other ones are another ten feet shorter than that. Okay. You're gonna see a barbarian ninja run. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. I need I need a color for the trap door. So this will do as a color. Yeah, but it's not cycling the fucking turn order. This this is the trap door right there. All right. My fair enough. Crappy free handed trap door. Kind of looks like you wrote Finn. I I, I, I just wiggled my mouse. I was like, eh, that looks like a lock from how far I'm zoomed out. Let me zoom in and actually see what it looks like. It kind of looks like you wrote Finn. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, that's the Finn line for the wall. <laughs> yeah, this isn't necessarily about, about killing as many people as possible so much as br breaking through to get to the cathedral. Yeah, I know. That, is, that is your goal of the sesh, is to break through. I mean, not to, for nothing, but I think we'll make it to All the right. Pope. So, Ymir's turn's done, done, so it's Cromwell. Okay, so. I'm, I'm going to zoom out so I can see whatever the fuck he's planning to do. I feel like, right. I, I, feel like I should. Right now, Cromwell's going to... Crum... Yeah, I can do that. How many jumps can I do in this part of a move action? I think, frankly, jump, j jump is just part of a move. 
think. I think it is. Okay. Uh, you have to make a jump roll, and I think you get an extra 10 movement. Well, um, because it's part of a move, and you make a roll for how far you jump, but my extreme leap gives me an extra 10, 10 feet movement. So Basically, every time he jumps, he gets an extra 10 feet he can move. Oh, no, it's a swift action. Movement. No, it's a swift action. So okay, once, okay. It's also a skill trick, so you can only use it once per round. Um, yeah, but no, gonna... with, with how high his jump modifier is, Neotag, he basically auto-passes any jump check. Oh, Kromo's I know. He's going to run to here, jump to here, keep running. I've got a 60, so that becomes a 300-foot move. So, <laughs> let's see. He's going to keep running to here, jump I'm over so here. glad I made this map so big now. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> We're going to get to see Crumble actually get to use his movement speed for once. Not for nothing. I thought we were all trying to move as a group, but if th this is the goal, I mean, here's just going to fucking take off. I mean, if... if I mean, the, the, the giant stone guys at, at the other side might have something to say about it, but... Because, because I can't do this because it's so big, I'm just going to do it in parts. Okay, so I'm going to run here. That's 15. Okay. I'm going to jump here. That goes to 60. Do you want me to do the roll for it? No, I, I know you can't. That's like, what, a DC 20 fucking check? We can pass that. Um, It's a DC... It's a DC 35, and I can pass that. It, okay. okay. The jump the jump distance is the DC. Okay. For a long run jump. Okay. So that's 60. Crumble keeps going. Jumps there. Takes can you make two right jumps? There. It's part of a movement. I mean, you know you can zoom the map out, Flux, and yeah, see more I of this. I can't read my... my your, your little thing, yeah. yeah. I kind of wish it scaled up with your, your zoom level. So he's at 120 there. So, like, these these things, what are they? Build more buildings? There are more buildings. <laughs> Keep doing that fucking ninja run. <laughs> so, about there's 140, or 240. Oh god. I forget you're almost gonna make jumping. He's gonna almost make it to the golems. Okay. Damn, I thought I'd have more time to actually look up what construct traits are. And, I, I, with, and with my swift action, it gets me an extra ten foot movement speed, so I, I land here. <laughs> Crumble as Crumble just says, I'll see you guys at the fight and just starts running. Yeah. <sighs> Was there any attack? Ymir, Ymir is visibly annoyed by this because he's like, "We'll move as a group. We'll all be together. This will be great." I don't think that was ever <laughs> made made clear. I, that, that, that actually, to be fair, Neo Tag, you guys never did make a plan. Uh, I know. It, this, that's that's kind of on you. Now, Ymir's just gonna take off next round. I, I want to point out there are, there are like visible like landing marks on those buildings. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, with, with, with Cromwell landing, he's probably, like, gripping and, like, ripping out shingles with his metal hand. He's, like, full, like, ape, ape run. <laughs> have you ever seen the tank from Left 4 Dead just ninja he's run? Gone, now gone, you have. He's gone full quadruped. Gone. He's, he's <laughs> gone full tank ball. Gone full rafter. A run is times four your movement speed. I have, right? I have a run feed. All right. Um. <laughs> Not you, me. All right, the golems are technically not in a position to react to you yet, so their turn's going to pass them by. Oh, oh shit. All right, throw right. things. All right, Thomas. Um, so when you say trapdoor, do you mean just like a standard murder hole sort of thing? Or do you mean no, like a trap? It's, it's an actual trapdoor with a ladder. Oh, okay. I mean, your horse could probably, frankly, your horse could probably make the 30 foot jump. Was it like the straight line? Well, well, actually, what I think you could do, frankly, and it would actually be work and be kind of metal. If you get to the point where the gap's not that big here, then you could jump from the wall to the house to descend 10 feet, and then jump from there to that to the other house to descend another 10 feet and then to the ground. I could try right. that, but you I... You have to make jump checks for that horse, and the moment it falls, it's fucked. Well, that's kind of why I'm trying to minimize the the jumping distance as much as possible, so he's not just jumping thirty feet straight down off a giant off of a wall. Okay. 
All right, so, but I can only move 50 feet, because our run has to be in a straight line, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, I guess at first... I'm going to make a ride-by attack. Move here. I'm going to hit that guy I just passed with my sword. Okay. Uh, is that hit? Yes. That's the wrong one. That's the uh, damage. 17? Okay. Yeah. And um, that's my turn. Put this on. Just, just to let you know if you're actually going to try this fucking jumping between buildings thing. Yeah. Give me a second. Is that a 20? It's technically a 25. Yeah, that's going to be a 50. 50 DC for you. 50 DC? No, uh, because you're not getting a wanna... you're not getting a running start, dude. True. Yeah, you might want to back off and, and make a running start. You double the DC if it's not a running start. There. Of, of, at, of at least 20 feet. Of at least 20 feet? Yeah. So you oh, did a ride-by attack, and then you moved back to give yourself a running start. That's fair enough. I think for a running start, then I have to start here. As long as you have 10 feet, you've got a running start. I thought yeah, I was told 20 feet. 20. Oh, 20? Never mind. 20 foot running start. That gives me just enough. As your horse smashes down on dead bodies. Would the yep. dead bodies act as a cushion? Alright, so now it's going to be the Warforged. Uh, the two in front of the guy are going to attack. Do they hit? Um, actually, those miss. Both of them? Yes. Well, fuck. Um... Move there. Attack. <laughs> All right, that's a plus two. That's a 21. So we, we, what are you attacking? The same guy again? Yes. Then, then you miss. Twenty six. Uh, 26. Uh, I'm not going to lie. An archer should not have a DC. Oh, oh I closed it. Out. You're not attacking. If you're attacking this guy again, he's not an archer. No, I'm attacking. Oh, I'm attacking the one that's right here. But yeah, okay. Oh, the one with your warforged? He's not, he's not an archer either. In fact, I actually ac accidentally closed his thing. Oh, oh he's got. Yeah, right. He's got a sword. Okay. I see the sword. I was zoomed out, and all I saw was the big bow he had in his hand. In fact, he's a scion. That's oh, 26 hits. Okay. Nine damage. Okay. Tat misses. Eighteen misses. This guy's basically getting surrounded. Wouldn't it be flanking bonuses? Yeah, he's still missing with the flanking. And a miss. They're level five, and I thought these guys were level five, but clearly this guy is a little higher. 13. What All right, exactly, whatever. What exactly is the flanking bonus? That'd be like an additional... Like, plus two. Even if even when they're surrounded, it's still only a plus two. Yep. And these guys are just gonna move. Run. They can only move to about there. I think. Yeah, okay. Pertuccio! Okay. Um, Petruccio's gonna take 
flight and start running as well. So give me a second. Once I find him, this fuck all huge map. Okay, there it is. Chuchu's got a. He's got a 60 as well. Okay, so that makes it easier. He just moves. He's just 70 away from Chrono. Are we going to see a, nin a ninja cleric? He, he's just flying. Oh. That's far less interesting. Chuchu's in heavy armor. He's not. <laughs> he's not somehow just fucking making it. <laughs> Jump, making giant jumps. He, he's not the raptor man, just screeing across the rooftops. Scree, scree. Now you do have to make a twenty-foot vertical jump though to get back on the other wall. I mean, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of torn. I don't want to leave Bara and fucking. Thomas alone. Thomas to be here cleaning the mooks while you two go off and deal with the golems. Yeah, I I I kinda wanna do that, but at the same time I'm not actually they they can't hit Thomas at all. And Barra and, and Barra is frankly going to be murdering the shit out of everything in the mass. Yeah, so no, they're safe. I don't have to worry about they're, them. They're on cleanup duty while while the two heavy hitters go to take care of the things that need heavy hitting. Yeah. And my warforge are there with Barra and Thomas if they need backup. So, yeah, I, I, I'm i not conflicted now. Alright, need us to stay back and take care of things? That's how it's gonna end up, but All right. now it's Army's turn. Talking is technically free action. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Ymir yells out, I'm gonna head out with Cromwell. You guys clean this place up. We'll meet you at the Pope's place. Alright. Let's let's speed this along. My wife's getting impatient with me. All right. So... Is she watching? No, she's apparently wanting me to do something. She's not saying what until it's time to do it, and she wants me to be done so we can do it. So she does realize there's like forty minutes left, right? Yeah, I explained that. All right. Uh, let's speed things up. The equivalency of five turns, and all the bat mooks are dead. No. All right. Uh, the army really can't hit any of you, so they're just going to ineffectually flail at you. Lots uh, of arrows flying in various directions and failing to hit their marks. All right, well, uh, this guy gets four attacks of opportunity from my Warforges. I mean, he didn't do anything because he knows he's going to get attacked of opportunity, so he's just kind of being defensive. Oh, well, then never mind. You there. That one was off by 15 feet. You didn't even aim close enough. <laughs> Keep trying. All right. There's like some weird magic plot armor around him, boss. Okay. Free action. All right. Activate Travel Devotion. Standard action. Drink potions of Cat's Grace, because fucking I spent the money for that stuff. I may as well use it. So that gives me an Okay. Addition. And move. This seems like overkill for a, a, a giant mook slaughter, but okay. I mean, not for nothing, but... A mook slaughter that this story is probably going to take two sessions if you guys can't get through the golems fast enough. Yeah, I, I, that's why Ymir's, Ymir's going to head out as well, because I'm looking at the time. It's been a good 20 minutes, and we yeah. haven't moved. And then I fly over Excuse me. here. Yeah, except for Cromwell and his disciple. Cro yes. Cromwell's making sure that DM gets back to his wife on time. <laughs> Cromwell's kind of a, a confused at how a two-hour allotment every other week is somehow being infringed by a wife, but whatever. So I'm in the air. Yeah. Well. Did I miss something? How did Petruccio get over there? Why? He took, uh... He took, uh... The, the attack. Explain later. Yeah, alright, go. He can fly. Let's, let's <laughs> actually make some progress in this fight that I planned to be going a lot faster than this. You do recall what happened the last time we had a massive number of mooks, right? Yes, and it went faster than this. You mean the session that went on till midnight? Make your move. Let's go, dude. Stop talking. Okay, fine. I shoot this guy. Uh, does that hit? Yes. He's dead, Jim. Yep. Can we just... Boom. Can we 
Can we just, for sake of argument, say everyone who's can... everyone who's not a commander has one HP? Frankly, yeah, yeah, that's right, minions. Right. Okay, yeah, they're minions. They're dead. Boom. Okay. You don't need to roll. Okay. Yeah, you, you don't need to roll damage for anyone who's not one of these guys. Okay. All right. So which which ones did you hit again? I'm, I'm just gonna quickly tick them off as dead. He's and dead. Is he in range? All right, you yeah. have a hundred. He's dead. Anyone you can shot is only sixty feet. Okay, whatever. Um, give me here. All right, let me just measure this out. You know what? I just take him to where the fucking what's his name is, Picuccio. We have this. I have sixty movement speed. He has it as well because of the flying. We have the same item. The fuck is he? Oh, there he is. Right there. Ymir's here. Ymir is going to. Oh, this is a zigzaggy path he took, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Um. Ymir is going to fucking, uh, what is it called? Fuck it, whatever. It's a touch attack. Okay. Whatever. Scorching Ray, where's Scorching Ray? I'm trying to do this quickly, sorry. All right, now I'm going to do Blast of Flame. It's uh, from me, a cone pointed, to pointed towards pointed toward the north, 60 pointed. feet from me. Pointed. Okay. Uh, it's, there's no roll to hit, so it's just going to be 20d6, fire and sonic damage. All right, so they're dead. Yeah, anything in that 60-foot cone in front of me. So going... Yeah. So the dam, and the dam is the cone, right? Yeah, sixty feet okay. out. What, hun? Sorry. Sorry, you sounded very impatient when you asked. It sounded like you were going to. Ah, uh, married life. Something I will never know. All right, fuck it. Lots of things are dead. Cromwell. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep doing this while he factors out his fucking jump shenanigans. Cromwell ring, um, rubs his ring of battle and chucks his. And activates his gauntlets and chucks his sword at this gentleman. You made a roll for that. He's obviously dead. But... I, I I know what your rolls are, man. That man is dead as fuck. Yeah. That man's dead. My sword comes back to my hand. Jump good. I can't. I can't. I I don't have the fucking skills to do a sixty foot jump. Fuck that. But my ring of blinking lets me fly. So next turn I'm good. All right, is that your whole turn? Yeah, I did my standard, right. and I did my, my... All right, Thomas. All right. Ymir's god controller will go watch Thomas and them all do their things. Sure. I'll watch him whip it. I'll watch him okay. nay right, fail. All right, I make a roll. It's your horse's jump roll, not yours. Yep, yeah, horse's jump roll. Does that make it? Oh, please, Orville. Yeah, I should. Yeah. Sure. You know, you still have the the 
things of Zephyr that would give you a little boost, I would think. No. No, no, they don't. Yeah. All right. I thought that was just like temporary hovering over like immediate. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. All right, I'll make nine attack rolls, and then that's it for the Warforge. Unless Thomas is doing something else. Uh, unless I can make a hairpin turn and do another leap but like that, then probably no. Hit, miss. No. Hang on. With flanking, hit, 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 hit. Miss, miss. <laughs> hit. Uh, how many miss, hits? Miss. Five. Man of action. They're looking good in tents. All right, is he dead yet? Twenty. Twenty-six. Thirty-five. He had twenty-four remaining. He's dead. All right, good. Now I can just move them all as one group. Let me get them all lined it up real quick. You guys can move on. I'm just getting them. All right. Protect you. Thing. Patricia is going to move up. up to here. And that's it for him right now. All right. Army is still ineffectually trying to kill you guys. All the foot soldiers are mostly just sitting on the ground going, Oi, get down here. They've taken to the Assassin's Creed method of starting to throw rocks at us. <laughs> 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 All right, free action. Free Missing action. horribly with everyone. Free action, Ymir. You need me to stay with your Warforge? They're staying I don't with think you. He can hear you anymore? <laughs> Wait, he can hear you. <laughs> Ymir's longs is just booked it away on his his magical cloak. Just we. Okay. I mean, to be fair, we already had this discussion. Yes, you can. You, you're the Warforges are staying with you to help you out. As so you 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 lead the way, and they're just gonna follow. All yeah, right. That's they're under orders to protect y'all, and that's it. All right, then. It's my free action. So this is... Let me zoom in so I can actually see distance. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if the golems die before, <laughs> before Thomas fully gets yes. off the roof. 60 foot. Attack. Okay. You do realize the goal is to go north, right, Vara? I figured they'd at least take out one bad guy before I go. He, he's killing the people manning the catapults that are bombarding your army. Fair enough. You know what? That's actually a good strategy. All right. Considering that there's still four of them alive shooting at your army. So, 54 and 51 to AC. Yeah, those hit. If you can do at least 26 damage, he's dead. He's dead. All right. All right. Give me here. Against, uh, technically, I still have a few more attacks. All right. Okay. I'm this going guy. to. All right. Roll them. Two hits. If he can do 50 damage, he's dead. He's dead. All right. All right. So Bar is basically just going around sniping off the freaking catapult crewmen. All right. That's uh, 60 there. See, so that was free shift standard. Sixty there. Technically no move, but eh, I'm good for right now. Keep killing. I hear you out there, Charlie. I I go there, and then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to touch my built to battle, and then I'm going to end up on this roof. Okay. All right. So. Okay. And that is all Ymir can do for this turn. All right, Cromwell. Kamo's going to run, and he's going to stop his run right here and land on top of the golem's head. <laughs> hey, bud. All right. All right. Hey, bud. How you doing? This Shout out to the Colossus, really? Oh. Technically, you're allowed to do that if the enemy yeah, is he big is, enough. Yeah, he is huge. It's like the fucking scout versus the heavy. <laughs> there is uh, precedent for this, so... <laughs> All right, who's all right? I got time. I, I'll be right back. 
Okay. You hear Russian screaming all of a sudden. I, I kind of needed him to be here for, for, for a moment because it's the golem's turn and he's in range of one of them, but okay. <laughs> um. Oh dear. Whatever it is, half damage. All right, golems golem. are going to begin to move. All right, so that's technically huge size. Yes, that is huge size. All right, let's start with the one that's sitting on Cromwell's head. No, I'm sitting on his head, and I'm I'm okay, trying yeah, to yeah, uh, yeah. usher who's, him whose head whose head is being Cromwelled. Yeah, I'm trying to usher him to a, towards a direction, kind of controlling him through reins through a rain okay. system I do not have. So right. Uh, okay. Him. Well, he's he's going to first uh, burst out a slow effect that is a DC 17 will save. So you mean? Cromwell might actually fail. So, so it's a mental effect? Uh, no. It is, is, it is a slow effect. He is magically attempting to slow you down. And you have to will yourself to not be slowed. Okay. Hang on, let me look at how the spell works. I'm pretty sure it's not... Component, VSM, one standard action, range close, target, duration... Saving throw will negates spell resistance. Yes. No, it is not. It is not a mental effect. It's like, like haste. It's the counter to haste. Yeah, it, it's 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 the opposite of haste. Okay. So he's he just slowed everything within ten feet of him who can't make the save, which the soldiers can. Um. Are you going to even try to resist the effect? Oh, here, here yeah, we go. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. nice. Uh, good, get, get you, uh, you, you resist the slow. Um, I guess he also has a golem effect that you're going to get right in the face next to him. He's now going to attempt to smack you in the face by attacking his own head, technically. <laughs> to try to <laughs> swat you off. All right, no, I demand if he rolls a one, he hits himself and does Actually, damage. This, you better, you better this hope has you don't, this, this. No, hold on. You better hope you don't miss due to concealment. Because then it's going right at you. Hang on a minute. Yeah, okay. So, actually, it's better for him to do this. He's going to try and grapple you. Okay. Good luck. Oh, ow! Okay. Well, you have to, you have to do a touch attack first. And I get an op attack in, in exchange, unless you have grapple feats. I mean, that, that was a, that, that was his attempt to attack you with the grapple. Okay, well, I get an op attack. He gets a plus fifty two to grapple. Okay. Well, no, hold on. That's no. It's okay, a, okay. So he has to make a regular attack first. He has to make a regular touch attack first to to actually get his hands on me. Okay. And that's, um... And I get an op attack for him trying to do that. Alright, his regular attempted to grab you then. And it's <laughs> a fail. botch! Okay, and my attempt to He's just kind of waving his, hand, his hands over his head. Ah, ah, oh, tiny my. man. See, he would have rolled a one if he had tried to attack, and then we would all see a golem knock his own head off. That would have been Does a 46 hit him? Um... Yeah. Okay. I like how that's what that was a question, which tells me everything. Well, no, it was more like, wait a minute, what is? That was more like, wait a minute, what is his armor class? <laughs> that actually gave me a little apprehension. He, he's just out of the box. I don't remember what the armor class was out of the box. Is that like one of my custom creations here? Yeah, golems have a very high natural. So it's it yeah, but but it's also decreased because of their size and shitty dexterity. And that's a thirty-four damage towards him. 34 you're just damage. On his, you're just on his head, chopping he, away. He, he tried to grab me. I, I swatted his hands with my greatsword. No. Bad goal. It's like a little kid trying to grab that wasp, take that wasp ah. off the head for the wasp to sting him. Bad. Stupid idiot. You don't grapple unless you have grapple feats. It doesn't work well. Right, no. You did 34 damage? Yeah. Now, where's the sigil that I have to stab? 
All the chat of the class. All right. So now the one by Ymir is going to attempt to punch Ymir in the face with a slam attack because he's within 15 feet. No, I'm not. Hang on, let me zoom in. No, he's outside. Oh, well, he's 20 feet. There. Now he's 15 feet. I'm also on the other side of a building wall. So how is, is Actually, he Actually, you're on the roof. Yes, I'm on the... It, the it, buildings it, it, are... It, are concave so there's an inside i'm on the inside uh he, he head. can still see you he's taller than the building he still have to punch through the building not What's if he's me? it's a slam he's technically slamming down on the building he's basically doing a fucking hammer hand on you fine fine which is also going to damage the building well, all right yeah nice bit of defense covered in the side of the building Yep, that hits. All right, so he brings his his hand slamming down. Um, I oh, know he can't do it again because he already moved. Oh god, and his attack is. This is where Ymir dies. No, he'd have to have an insane amount of damage, and that would twenty three. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, Ymir's okay. not in trouble at all. Okay. I was. He, he has twenty three damage, and and to you, and by extension. Puts a sizable dent in the roof, but hasn't collapsed it yet. Well, it wouldn't matter if he did, because I'm literally floating above it. <laughs> okay, well, he's, he's trying to slam you onto the roof, then. All right, he's, he's Thomas, you continue your, your joyful attempts at dismounting this, this wall. Oh, man. All right. See how well that works. <laughs> Probably does not make it. Oh. Uh, well, you were closer to the ground. You set him up on purpose. No, I didn't. I was actually hoping his horse would make it. So. What I was thinking I should have done is I should have jumped across the brown building. Like, now I gotta think, does, does he fall into, into the space, space between? On. What, what was the. Honestly, what you should have done is you should have just because the, the, it's another it's another ten foot difference in height. Have him land on that guard and give him a little cushion. Okay, so it, what was the DC to beat in? Because there are a lot of rules for what happens at the end of a jump. If you mess up, mess up. Uh, the DC would have been the jump distance or more. I didn't make a twenty foot uh, lead, uh, charge before doing so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a 35-foot horizontal jump. And you didn't make a charge, so that would have been a 17. <laughs> I did. Oh, you, you did do the do the range thing, so that'd be a 35. So you missed it by 10. That means he d just completely falls. All right, so he just... Does, does he at least land on the roof, or is he falling in the middle? No, he, he fell. If he fails it by less than five, they can make a reflex save to grab the edge. But if he doesn't do that, then he just falls. All right, so, so Zan lands in front of the building. Can and we takes... see? Well, he That's falls 20 feet. Does that even fall damage at that point? I think it's 1d6. Yeah. Well, you also have to keep in mind he has those ho horseshoes on that are always keep him four inches above the ground. That provide something to stop him from taking a little That's bit. That's actually... And he's no, landing on somebody. Up. That's probably going to count as well. I mean, that, that really only applies if he lands on his feet, though, because if he's not landing feet first, then he still falls. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah, so you, you, I think, yeah, I think you only take 1d6 because it's only a 20-foot drop. So it yeah, would be one, both me and the horse, or just the horse? 1d6 per 10 feet. So that's 2d6 points okay, of damage okay. right at those little little gippy horse angles. Yeah, so the horse the horse takes 2d6 damage. Since you're riding the horse, technically the horse takes the damage, not you. All right. Uh, you want me to roll that, or? Yeah, I'll roll, I'll roll the 2d6. Not that really makes a difference. I thought it was just like that first 10 feet was free, and then afterwards from 11... The horse takes down. three damage. Woo! I look and see he's He mildly his sprained an ankle. He's, well, he's nicked him. <laughs> the horse has landed, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, the horse has landed. Now begins the mad horse charge through Mooks as he murders his way in a straight line toward that gate up ahead. 
All right, Warforged. All right, I'm going to start splitting them up. Half of them are going to start helping Bara. Let me pick that. I'm trying to do these in groups so we don't we take less time. Is it best like to like drag and drop or something or no? Yes, yes it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh. Drag and drop is my favorite Street Fighter attack. All right, each one of these makes an attack. Drag and drops my indie band. Each one of these makes an attack on the archer in front of them. Can I just do one attack for this? Save yes. time. Yes. Twenty-one. They dead. All right, everyone in front of there. All right, and the rest of them are going to help out to help Thomas. The one that's in front is going to roll to hit. 24, does it hit the spearman? Yep. And and he's dead. He's a minion, right? Yep, he's dead. I like using the Warforge. I'm using them as a as troops, as they should be. Patricia. Oh, um. She's gonna run. Does he want to fly to Ymir and help him? She's gonna head off. He's gonna run. He's gonna run so far away. Patricio's gonna head off further north into the battle. All right, Patricio has gone off into the battle, continuing to rage on the fronts. I mean, fuck these golems. I have no reason to think they're of strategic importance. I just need to get in and kill the Pope. All right. Frankly, army Cromwell's doing that next turn as well. Yeah, army ineffectually doing anything. Bara. All right. Shift. Yep. Oh shit, never mind. I'm out of I'm out of skirmish range. Give me a sec. Don't worry about it. They're probably all dead anyways. Alright. They're dead, Dave. Again, anything but the commanders are minions. They have only one health. I mean that is a commander that he's shooting oh, at, no. I assume. Yeah, I just realized I accidentally hit uh, skirmish damage, even though I'm out of range, so just give me a sec. Trying to look up D and D so rules. Roll one and roll two, so that's forty-two. Second attack roll. Okay. How many hit? That's a hit. Uh, one or two hit. Both. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, let's see. That was a shift, then a standard. So still got move. So. 60 foot move. All right, Ymir. Ymir's going to move. Oops, measuring wrong. Try to take out one of the golems. Going to move up to here. He's basically one square off screen. He's still in range of this golem to do this. Shoot magic at it. Play that game of Russian roulette. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 what do I have to do? A attack roll on this one? What do you cast? Disintegrate. Okay. Nope, no attack roll. Okay. Uh, he needs to make a fort save. Uh, uh is there any spell resist to disintegrate? Nope. Yes. yes. Okay. Not on my um, sheet. Wait. No, wait a second. Then I'm not casting it. On my sheet, there is none. Oh crap! All right, no, I don't cast disintegrate. I'm gonna just do an orb up spell. 
I, I think that's bullshit that you say you don't cast it just because the DM asked a question. I no, I all right. Here's what's happening. I have my cheat sheet up, and for some reason, I I always write if it has spell resistance or not, and it doesn't say on this. I mean, you have no knowledge of what this golem can or cannot do. You've yeah. done no knowledge checks. But I could be asking that question for completely unrelated reasons. You just want to fucking do more damage to me. In your no, arguing in favor of it. No, I just want you to waste your spell as it ineffectually bounces off of a golem that's immune to anything that allows spell resist. Yeah, no. Which, um, I didn't even make up. That's actually just in the greater stone golem <laughs> rules. <laughs> if, a, if a spell allows spell resist, the greater stone golem is immune to it. I mean, just do the Draconna. You'll know that and beat the golem each... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll roll Knowledge Akana before I attack, alright? Knowledge Akana? That way, yes, that way we will all be happy. Let me see, what do I get? I get a plus five because of a skill trick to learn the an enemy's weakness, so I now have uh, thirty-eight. Okay, you learn that it has damage reduction ten and a mantine. Uh, that it is immune to any magic spell that allows a say a um, or spell like ability that allows spell resistance. Um, transmute spells rock to mud slows a stone golem for two d six rounds with no saving throw. While transmute mud to rock heals all of its lost hit points. Stone to flesh spell does not actually change the golem structure, but negates its damage reduction and immunity to magic for one full round. There's a lot of shit goals to make him frank, frankly kind of... Alright, so that, does 37 hit his touch AC? Yes. Oh god, yes. Yeah, his touch AC is a 6. So Ooh. that's 120 da 21 damage. Acid and Sonic. Not bad. And then Ymir, because he got hit, is kind of pissed off. He's going to tap his circle it. He's going to do it again. So he actually takes 111 damage thanks to his, spell, thanks to his damage reduction. It doesn't work on magic, so like... I know it doesn't. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you'd get pissed off. Maybe yeah, I can't. I can't fail to hit his touch AC, so I'm not going to roll it if you don't want me to. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, right, go dude. ahead. Go ahead. I'm just going to find where I put my calculation device so I can calculate damage. Maybe if someone hadn't fought me bloodily on a molehill about magic weapons over overcoming damage reduction. I wouldn't have brought that fact up. So, like, but you did. Uh, so maybe, I maybe. didn't maybe. roll a one, so I hit, and I'm going to do damage. One hundred and twenty-five more damage. So total two hundred and forty-six damage. Yep. All right, he's hurting. He's hurting bad. All right. Technically, I'm off the screen. I headed with yeah. Cuccio. You, 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 you ran off and, and flung a, a fuck you spell over your shoulder. Yeah. Karma. I know this does nothing to you, big guy, but fuck you. I'm going to breathe rust, rust breath on his face. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is an insult. Like, <sighs> bad this is breath. being spiteful. He's just yeah. putting bad breath in his nostrils. So he's just be like, you smell bad. No. As I trot it all away. <laughs> Fruit cake, tra la la. Now, gr now, granted, I'm not. The, I'm the only one that can't fly here, but I'm assuming there's some kind of structure on the other side that I can land on. So, it's a good foot up after that. Actually, hold on, Pertuccio, carry me. <laughs> he just lands on Pertuccio's back triumphantly. <laughs> well, like uh, standing on his shoulders, just striking a, a pose. Load on, with his yeah, head, know that, pointing, right. pointing out. More than a light load, and he drops. You know that, right? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. We're good. It's mostly, it's mostly All right. The, the the golems are very confused by what's going on. 
Ymir just flicks that one off as he goes away and then fucking spell it. <laughs> what if we could have, like, confused They're, they're very slowly trying to follow you. They crush friend and info under their feet, like. Yeah, they're actually crushing the guys underneath, beneath their feet. Well, I don't blame that one that I hit with because they suddenly like, oh shit, they could do a lot of damage. They, 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 they barely even before when they were avoiding the people really acknowledge that there's even anyone there but themselves. They almost don't have sentience. So. They, they kind of just like, oh, the thing, the things that are trying to break in are going that way. All right, Thomas. At this point, everything, everything north is is kind of a moot point until you guys catch up. Sadly. Well, I guess I <laughs> just start running your way through these motherfuckers. <laughs> well, yeah, first I he has to stand up because he should be prone from the fall. Yes, he is. All right. All right. Me and my horse get up. And then I think I'm literally on a chair in a square with some guy. Or is, was he crushed underneath the horse? I like to imagine he, was he, he died. The, the 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 horse falling on him knocked him unconscious. Okay, and then I guess I'll just make a attack on the guy just right next to me because I can't. Move. Okay. That hit. All right, he's dead. Oh yeah. Okay. And then Millions. I I I yell if Bar can hear horse. me that let's let's get a move on north. Uh, the rest of the party's already gone. I don't know if she can hear me. I. I think I could hear you. You're only 120 feet away from me. I think I could hear you. Okay. All right. So you have seven minutes to have fun until I just assume at that point that you guys just slaughter your way forward. Okay. All right. I'm. I'm. That's not how they moved, but let's I just get, say I get what you meant. Hits and uh, hits and hits and hits. All right, the two are dead. All right, the rest. Right there, they they try to attack. Twenty five dead. Yeah. They're like they're like surrounding fucking Thomas. Like he's fallen. Quick, help him. <laughs> Get man up. As I, like okay. I like to imagine they're just all shifting to the next group. <laughs> like <laughs> just, the archer just watches him like what the fuck are the dog We can't hit them. We can't hit them. Oh, it, no. They're just moving in perfect formation, taking position behind him and just slaughtering another group. Nineteen. Yeah. Alright, well they're all dead. So are these guys like one experience pop? <laughs> They're, they're, not, they're, not even, they're not even worth experience to you guys at this point. Well, I hope that my Warforge level up. That's all I want. <laughs> you can keep wanting that. You said you were doing a big battle and that they might level up. The battle isn't over it. yet. I know. All right, Petruccio has flown off in the distance. The army is wondering what the fuck's going on. Vara, you can kill things. Well... So Thomas said to get going to get out of here. So, uh, well, you could take down that last uh, fucking catapult. Yeah, I can do well, that. Third to last catapult. Wait, because there's still the two guys oh, on the list. There's still yeah, the two yeah. guys where you started. You ignored. Oh shit! I Fourth forgot all about catapult. those guys. Fourth to last catapult. Oh shit! The catapults are reproducing by budding. Get them. <laughs> And then technically, there's two more catapults at the top. Yeah, there's two more at the other side that we're gonna wait for you guys to get in range. But you kind of just got a ninja ran. They're like, "What the fuck do we do?" All right, shit. Fuck, they're in the air. We can't shoot aerial. I'm targets. not gonna lie. If if I had realized that that was there, I would have shot the catapult guy. The catapult. Um, yeah, catapult. <laughs> I like catapult better. Boom! Right, boom! Dead. dead. Everyone's oh, dead. All right. That was shift standard. Move six. We'll fly sixty feet away. 
Alright, we are flew off. Cromwell's jumped off. Actually, it's 55, 60. Golems are continue, continue to trample everything in their path as they slowly try to catch up. Desperate to catch up with the ones <laughs> that ran off. Back to Thomas. Uh, now, with a ride by attack, you attack everything you ride by, right? Yes. So, Thomas, my Think friend, of this way. you're on a. It's a bowling lane. You're the bowling ball. It's time to do what you've always wanted to do and just slaughter people as you ride by. It is time to die as the warriors. Be the bowling ball. Thomas just, just pulls out Be the Lubu. Thomas just pulls out two swords. Just do one roll for all that attack. Yeah. We're, yep. we're trying to speed things along. So, anything along that road? Anything within your range. You're using your lance, right? Yep. Yeah. So that's yeah. Anything that's... alive? No, everything's dead. They're all minions. The commanders are on the wall, dude. Everybody are at the catapults. Everybody else is basically a minion beside the um the fucking uh golems. I think I also landed on someone. Yeah, I did. You know, he's dead, Jim. All right, Warforged. All right, they're going to reform into a single unit, and then... They reform into Warforgedron? <laughs> yeah, they reform right, into a single unit. That's right there. And then they all run after Thomas. Let's see. They can get to about here, I think. Okay. Am I measuring right? And then... These guys just continue slaughtering the fuckers on the wall. <laughs> More dead archers. Arm Petruccio, Army, Barra. The problem right. is their orders haven't changed, so, so they're literally I mean, just... This wall keeps going out off the, off the map, so they're just going to be marching up the wall slaughtering these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for the archers, but their orders were to... Help I mean, Mara they do have and... sentience in the attack. They will eventually just stop when they run out of archers to murder. Here's the thing. Yeah. I am flying. Let's see if they can even hit me. Well, they're going they to... Can't. They, they can't. can't. No, yeah. Nothing on this map could hit any of you, so it's just safe to assume you could move freely. Woo. That's 180 feet that... run from me. We'll okay. see. As soon Dear as God, they see... Just... Yeah, I gotta scroll up and find where you landed. Nothing you on landed a little bit above it. Thomas. Nothing on this map can hit you, so you can just move freely as we cut to a, a stone golem readying a baseball bat. Golems. Fly your way back. This is going to be weird because the Warforger basically now. Wait, just, where'd he go? I'm not marking it, but just assume everything the Warforge have walked past has just been crushed under them to death. <laughs> so well, no, I. All right, I got to measure this out because they, they suddenly the yeah. Warforge. I accidentally skipped past you, but it is still your turn. Ride, ride like the wind's on. <laughs> and you murder. That group goes there. Oh, I wonder if these Janissaries are ready to die. All right, there you go. Wait, why did Zon go again? No, he, he went and then he skipped he skipped Zon. Yeah, I accidentally hit the, the push button too many times it went one past Zon. Okay, why, why didn't I get my go? Previously? Because there's no map anymore for you. You're just running I, off I, camera. I was going to come back and chuck a sword at this guy to golem in the room. <laughs> Fine, next time your turn comes around, you can do that. So you're doing the opposite of what the action guys do with explosions. All right, Bara. Oh, he's dead. Too. It's hard to keep track of all this death. Dear God. <laughs> 
Krama. I was going to keep running north. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. So basically, as long as you like up to this point here, you've more or less got. All right, the, go the, gole the golems have gone off the map. Yeah. Can we just say, for the sake of argument, yeah, this point, I, I was I was about to say it's it's just gone past eleven, so I'm going to say at this point that you've you've slaughtered your way up north. You have breached the the defenses of the city. You have now successfully begun the battle of the Church of Light. Yeah. All right. The Warforged are joining us, just for the record. Yep. Uh, I'd suggest you be over here, Thomas. So uh, gonna... I, I, I will think I, I will think up a suitably convoluted reason for you all to catch up to the people flying ahead. <laughs> yeah, One into the time cops. Uh, so you, uh, you 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 gained no XP and no treasure. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> But you did get adventure XP for progressing in the story, and you have all leveled up. Wait, what? He's just flat, give, flat out giving yep. us. All I'm, I'm, I'm leveling you all up for having passed the milestone of going through this bullshit. Wait, no, fuck you. <laughs> they had all just leveled up. I was like 200 away. <laughs> fuck off. Get no, 200 away for the next level up. Then we're halfway to the next level up as well. We were halfway to the yes. So fuck you, Flux, you fucking all right. prick. All right, so we're all. Let me look it up. Thirteen thousand six hundred. That would be at the next level for us. No, we're halfway to eighteen. So we would be at. All right, so I'm I'm hoping anyone who may or may not have been watching now or in the future enjoyed whatever it is the fuck that just happened. The yeah. plans were made; they went south fast, and we just kind of improvised. We we improvised for about forty minutes on something that probably should never have happened, but live and learn. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream now. We are at...